Hi, I'm Will Holland and welcome to my kitchens here at Coast Restaurant in Saundersfoot. Uh, today I'm going to be cooking a beautiful sous vide dish where we're going to do a take on uh, surf and turf, so it's sort of posh surf and turf. One is uh, oxtail and then the, the fish element is monkfish. Both really benefit from being cooked sous vide um, and they're going to come together and the dish is going to be called uh, two tails, obviously the monkfish tail and the oxtail. The first part of this dish is the bit that's going to take the longest and that's obviously the oxtail. So this is a sinewy piece of meat so it, it requires uh, a long cooking process and this is where sous vide really comes into its own. And the first thing to do with this is brown it. So just a really nice hot frying pan and then I'm going to put the oxtail in but we're going to put it in sort of the, the fat side down first. Obviously this is going to render some of the fat out of it because we want to render the fat out, but also we want to get that lovely caramelised uh, sort of beef fat flavour into it. So we've got that lovely caramelisation on all sides of the oxtail. That's just going to come out the pan and that's going to go straight into the uh, blast chiller before we vacuum pack it. So what's going to happen when this is in the water bath is the remaining oxtail fat is going to render down and so the meat is actually going to cook in its own fat, so it's almost confiting in its own fat. So all that flavour, that caramelised oxtail flavour that's stuck in that bag, it's just going to intensify the flavour and get better and better and better. And we can forget about it. That's the beauty of sous vide, is that that's going to be cooking for 12 hours and all I can dream about is all that flavour in the bag. So we've trimmed our monkfish tail and what we're going to do, we're going to cut that into our portions now. So just cut it straight through, nice sharp knife. And of course you could just classically cook this, you could just cook this sous vide, but what we're actually going to do here, and I'm going to show you how to do it, is wrap it in bacon. So I'm just going to make my work top slightly damp and then uh, I'm going to line it with cling film and what I do, I actually put the cling film both ways and I do it a couple of times and this is just so we can get that really lovely shape with the monkfish when it's wrapped in the bacon. So the bacon I'm going to use to wrap the monkfish is a lovely smoked streaky bacon and what we're going to do, we're going to make almost like a sheet of bacon to cover the fish. Pop the piece of monkfish on the bacon and then this is where we can use the cling film so this really helps us get the shape and I'm going to roll that over pull it back on itself so that it's getting really really nice and tight and so you've got that lovely shape and all we're going to do the beauty of cling film you don't need to mess around with string or anything because it sticks to itself I'm just going to tie a single knot in one end only needs to be a single knot, you don't need to worry about anything else. And then all I'm going to do, just squeeze the, uh, the bacon wrapped monkfish down, twist it really tight because we don't want to have any air in there. We just trim the ends off and then we need to vacuum pack that. 47 degrees this one and that's going in for 30 minutes. So 12 hours later the oxtail's ready so we can get that out. And what you'll see here, I can see that all the fat from the oxtail is rendered out of the meat. So that piece of meat has actually been cooking in its own fat. So you can only imagine the flavour that's in that bag. So you'll see that the natural structure of the oxtail, you've actually got these kind of nuggets of meat that run around the central bone. So all you need to do is just very carefully break them open and you'll see the lovely, almost sort of lobes of... Uh, of cooked meat. The great thing about cooking oxtail sous vide as opposed to classically braising it in an oven is that you can see it's actually maintained its structure. What I'm actually going to do with this dish is this is going to be inside a, a very thin herb pancake. So all that's left to do is to pop this meat inside the pancake so it's a sort of stuffed pancake and how we're going to heat this up to serve the dish is we're going to steam it. And I think it's important to say at this stage that when you are low temperature cooking, 
Um, it's really important that you have another cooking process happens to whatever's been in the bath at a low temperature. So for example, this monkfish, it's completely cooked. It's amazing that fish does cook at 47 degrees. But for it to be completely safe and for me to be completely happy that I'm going to serve it, it's going to have another cooking process, a high temperature cooking process, and that's going to be in the pan. So we're going to finish that off. We're going to get that bacon lovely and crispy on the outside of it. Um, and in the middle, the fish is going to be perfectly cooked. Um, so we're ready to start plating. In here we've got a parsnip puree and then we've got roasted parsnips. Then we're just going to pop our steamed oxtail pancake in the middle. Then I've got in here, I've just got a little bit of smoked bacon crumb. And then the moment of truth, our monkfish that we've put all that love and care and attention into, we're just going to carve a nice medallion off that. And then that sits on top of our oxtail it's got a red wine sauce. So there we have it. That's my dish of two tails, sous vide. You've got the ox tail and the monkfish tail, and we've served it with a herb pancake and parsnips.